Hey there, it's Doug Pugh with the NFHS Network, and we're back as we continue to recognize our Florida Dairy Farmers Academic All-State Team based on academic and athletic accomplishments as well as extracurricular activities and community service. And right now we're joined on the line by a young lady from Cape Coral High School graduating with a 6.08. Yeah, you heard that correctly, a 6.08 GPA. Accomplished this while being a four-year letter winner in cross-country, lacrosse, and track and field for the Seahawks and will be attending the University of Florida, planning a major in mechanical engineering. Please welcome Carson Klaus to the call. Carson, thanks so much for joining us and congratulations on the honor. Thank you, it's good to be here. All right, so mechanical engineering, can you get us a little breakdown on that and what you might wanna do specifically within that? Um, so I'm planning to do mechanical engineering for my undergraduate and then planning to do postgraduate studies in aeronautical engineering. So in the future, I hope to work for a airplane company or a space company like NASA and building um, airships and airplanes like that. So, Have you always been, uh, you know, fascinated by flight and, and that sort of thing? Do you Do you fly a lot or did you go to NASA as a... As a young kid, uh, how did that kind of come to fruition? Uh, yes, I've always been interested in physical science and mathematics, and I really love to travel a lot. And I visited the Kennedy Space Center. Um, and so I've really always had a passion for travel and um, really working hands on and stuff like that. So that's what inspired me to take that path. And what was your favorite class at Cape Coral that might have set you, uh, you know, down this path or it just kind of, you know, further enhanced what you were going to do? Um, my favorite classes were probably either physics or calculus. And I really enjoyed those um, classes and I really wanted to um, pursue a career path that would help me um, apply that knowledge that I learned in those classes. Now, you have a laundry list, and I mean that. i got to rattle these off. You're a Carson Scholar, an IBCAS Scholar, Lee County News Press Academic All-Star Team, just to name a few. Looking back, which one of these do you stand out for you, or do they all just you know, kind of come you know, with the territory of being so successful in the classroom and on the athletic field? Um, well, I'd say other than being named a Florida Dairy Farmer um, Academic All-State Team, I would be, I would say that um, being named on the um, News Press Academic All-Stars was probably the most surprising to me because they only select one student from each school in the county. And so being able to be selected to represent my school was really something that um, I'm proud of and something that I really have enjoyed being able to have the opportunity to do. Well, that's fantastic. And so the, the question I think some of us, in fact, a lot of us are probably curious of, you balanced three sports, you had a six, over a 6.0 GPA. And so with all of that, obviously time management is probably the main thing that has to go into that. So yes or no, was time management the biggest thing in terms of the secret ingredient? And give us a, a peek into what your day is like in terms of having to balance all that. Um, time management really played a, a large role in that. And I would say that sports really helped me with that, actually, because being able to have a break between my schoolwork and going home and doing homework would, really allowed me to de-stress and um, spend time with my friends that I probably would not have made time for otherwise with all the coursework that I had. And also it allowed me to practice um, really focusing on my goals and um, setting goals for myself in order to achieve not only on the field or on the track, but also in the classroom. Now, did you have a favorite of any of those sports? Um, my favorite was probably cross country because although it's an individual sport, I was also able to have strong bonds with a lot of my team members and um, I've always really just enjoyed running. Now, we'll give you this last question, giving you a couple minutes to think about it. You're a T-Sizzle uh, fan, Taylor Swift. I want your go-to song from Taylor Swift. 
My go-to song is probably Teardrops on My Guitar because I have a lot of memories attached to that. And I remember when I was five years old listening to that song and just falling in love with it instantly and becoming a Taylor Swift fan. Is that something that you would even put in your, uh, your iPod even trying to run? <laughs> probably. <laughs> it sounds great. Well, Carson, thank you so much for joining us. All the best in the future. We look forward to seeing you doing great things at the next level. And congratulations again on making the academic All-State team. Thank you. You're welcome. And remember, folks, as we continue to highlight these young ladies and gentlemen, we can you can check those out on the FHSAA Twitter account, and uh, you can check it out on their Facebook page as well. That's all for now. Thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye.